Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I want to spend some time talking about the tools I use to clean up my 3D prints and kind of share this with you and also kind of give you some pointers of how I use some of this stuff. So let's jump into it. So one of the first I highly recommend is getting a good X-Acto knife set up, uh, as I have here. And also, always having on hand a good set of uh, spare sharp blades. Sharper the better. I also like the case. I do have some that I uh, have outside, which I did this mount for and everything. But I like to keep this one set aside just for cleaning it up. And I like to always have very sharp blades. Comes in handy. The other piece that I also use a lot is this guy, which I designed up. Now, what happens with this guy is I have a burr bit in here, and I can basically put any type of eighth inch uh, CNC bit in here, which is handy. Now, it's static. It holds it solid. And what I like about this is I can just take this and run this around the inside of something like that, clean it out, same thing here. I can also switch it out for uh, smaller bits, such as this, slip it in very small and really get in there and do fine cleanup or clean out really fine holes. So this is handy. I use this guy a lot and because the size fits in my hand well this is out on Thingiverse if you want to print it out and again I pick up all kinds of different CNC bits off of eBay super cheap and really comes in handy. Uh, the other one is this cleanup tool. So this is a deburring cleanup tool. So the idea is, is you pull it against and it has a swivel head and sort of a knife blade that will pull up and deburr. Now, some of the, some of the uh, challenges with it is going around corners and things like that. On the inside of a circle, again, it's very handy unless you run up against something like this. And again, this is one of the reasons I developed this, is it's more static and it's kind of easier to kind of get and clean up. And again, with this type of bit, I don't know if you can hear it, but it really works good at just simple deburring and you don't have to worry about the angle. But this is a very handy tool, especially for larger parts. Now, the other piece, especially when we start talking about removing supports, a couple tools I like to have. Flush slide cutters flush side cutters. I think I got that out right. So it goes right up against the surface, snip, pop the supports off. Comes in handy. The other piece is this heated tool. So it plugs into USB, you touch this button, it heats up. And I usually use this. I don't use it as much as I thought I would. <clears throat> Excuse me, but it comes in handy if I'm working with heavier supports. If I got a lot of supports and I want to clean them up, and I also want to kind of smooth back over the support structure, uh, I, I go to this guy. So handy tool. It was about 35 bucks. Some folks um, claim this is, a, a, in which it is, sort of a USB soldering iron, but it comes with different tips than the soldering iron does. So there are cheaper versions out there if you kind of want to experiment. Uh, last on my list is this guy. So this is a uh, battery-powered Dremel tool. Uh, you know, relatively low RPM. So, as you see here, it has two speeds and off. It uses regular AA batteries. Now, I use rechargeables in it, um, so I'm not wasteful in throwing away filling up landfills with batteries. But I like the fact it uses common AA rechargeables not included with it. And i got to turn it off here. Uh, so I can recharge them, and when they go bad, I can just get a new set. I had purchased some proprietary or a proprietary version of this real cheap off eBay. The rechargeable battery didn't last very long and ended up being just a waste of the whole thing. So I like that fact about this. Now, with this too, I run a diamond burr in here. So I, I typically, now I can switch out for a burr like this or any type of eighth inch bit, Dremel bit, or sanding hub, but I find that the diamond bits, and I'll have links to all this below, uh, work very well for fine cleanup. As I'm going along, you know, this type of, if I want to clean up the inside, like this, because what happens with the diamond bit, it's not going to bite and gouge. It's going to more so polish up this to a nice finish. And the same thing for the outside or inside this hole. Uh, the diamond bit won't tend to grab and gouge. It'll tend to polish more. And this is really what I use this for, is to kind of really clean up if I have a lot of striations, etc. in here that I want to remove. I go to this diamond bit, and this makes short work of it because it's powered. And again, two speeds. So again... This is really the setup. If you have, if you have, if you're going to be serious about 3D printing, you need to have all of these. 
uh, tools because, you know, again, not with each print do I use every single one of them, but having these in my arsenal allow me to create very professional looking prints. And on the site, I do print some stuff professionally. And when I send something out, I want it to be of generally high quality. And these tools allow me to create that relatively easy without spending a lot of time scraping, scratching, etc. And getting a really good look out of this. You know, some of the other things which I've covered in past videos is using heat guns and things like that for smoothing. Didn't really cover that because I don't consider that sort of in the same genre as these tools because these are more removal cleaning. But also having a decent hand size heat gun, I use uh, the uh, heat from my soldering station, uh, really works well. So anyways, hopefully you found this interesting. If you're using tools that I don't have listed here, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear about what you guys are using. And if you got any questions about these or want to see anything more particular about this, let me know in the comments too. And don't forget the swag shop up there, subscribe button over there, and we'll see you guys in the next video where we make something. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.